Welcome back to CBS Sports HQ. We just broke down the latest AP Top 25 poll, but what will the new college football playoff rankings look like after a week filled of upsets and five ranked teams falling? Here is what our own Brad Crawford predicts the new college football playoff rankings will be. And if you notice, the first four teams in BMAC there, mm -hmm. three are from the Big Ten. Texas representing the SEC at three. Indiana moves up quite a bit in Brad's projections as they remain undefeated and claim that sixth spot. The AP poll had them in the top five. Behind the Hoosiers, also undefeated is BYU. Georgia still in the top 12 at eight, even despite their loss to Ole Miss, who the Rebels you see there make the top 12 and are the 12th seed. Brad Crawford is with us. So Brad, walk us through your thought process here. And I do want you to begin with having three Big Ten teams in the top four. This is how the rankings are going to look Tuesday night for the top four, in my opinion. This is not how it's going to look in the final poll because we know that five conference champions, ACC, Big 12, Big Ten, ACC, and G5, four of those teams are going to make up the top four rank. So this is kind of a power ranking of sorts of how I think the committee is going to play it out Tuesday night. You look at the teams that lost, Jordan, uh, Georgia, and Miami, they're going to fall out of the top four. So you simply push Texas and Penn State up. We know that. like we lost Brad there for a second. So while we wait to get his audio back, we apologize for the technical difficulty. I mean, BMAC, the floor is yours to pick this apart and go whichever way you want. Uh, I have no issue with Brad's top four because as it has played out over the last week or so in college football, I think this is dead on. Now, clearly to his point, the final standings will not look like this because the Big Ten will only get one member in the top mm -hmm. four. But having it seen, seeing it like this, it tells me one thing, Jordan, viewers. The Big Ten, if everything works itself out, they're going to get four teams in the playoffs. And the thing about that is that if Indiana happens to lose to Ohio State, their remaining two games are Purdue and Ohio State. If they, if they lose to Ohio State, they still get in without playing for a Big Ten championship game. Mm -hmm. If Indiana happens to beat Ohio State, of course, they get that shot to play for the Big Ten title in Indy. Win or lose, they get in. I think Ohio State, if they happen to lose to the Hoosiers and don't play for the Big Ten title, they still get in based on everything they've done and what they did a few weeks ago in Happy Valley, turning Happy Valley into Sad Valley. And you look at Penn State, the only blemish on their schedule is losing to Ohio State, in which the committee in college football, they view that as a good mm -hmm. loss. So with that being said, I do believe we will see four teams get in to the college football playoffs in the top 12 when it's all said and done based on everything those said teams have done. And I like to uh, correct something I said earlier when you look at the ACC and you see what Brad has Miami after that loss to Georgia Tech. If the season was to end today, Miami owns the tiebreaker over Clemson. So Miami would play SMU in Charlotte for the ACC championship game if that was to be the status today. But of course, there's two weeks left to play. Anything can happen. But in, in terms of Brad's top 12, once again, I think that is the ideal alignment for teams based on what we've seen uh, this past weekend in college football. I'm glad you highlighted that because uh, it is setting up for a very exciting Big Ten championship game that will be on CBS this year. You guys, Brad, it looks like we have you back. I will let you pick up where you left off. Yeah, just going to say that it's, it's more of a power ranking of sorts, this Tuesday night projection of how I think the committee is going to rank these three Big Ten teams inside the top four. We know three Big Ten teams cannot be inside the final top four based on automatic conference champions and how that's going to look. But right now, after you had Georgia and Miami get beat pretty badly by, by Georgia Tech and Ole Miss, you're going to see Texas and Penn State rise into those three, four spots. And I think it's very interesting, too. Miami was ranked fourth last week, unbeaten coming into the game against Georgia Tech. I want to see how far the committee drops them based on that loss to Georgia Tech. So it's going to be a uh, interesting Tuesday night when we see these second playoff rankings. <laughs> well, most definitely. BMAC, I do want to come to you and, and get your thoughts on who you thought got snubbed maybe last week in the first um, rankings that were released, and who do you think may get snubbed this upcoming Tuesday night? Well, I felt like the uh, BYU, when you look at their program, they haven't really received a lot of respect. 
you know, when you look at the first initial rankings because they're undefeated. They once again found a way to win in a very, very hostile environment last night against Utah. So let's see where the respect will be this week when it's all said and done Tuesday night. I think there's a team, Brad, when you look at their style of play, they have experience on either side of the football field, right? They can run the football. They play tough in the trenches on either side. And I love what I'm seeing from the quarterback. And they're well, well coached. So they just kind of been treading nicely under the radar. And I felt like they didn't get the respect that they're deserving. The first initial ranking. So I'm definitely paying attention to where they have BYU slated. And also, too, Notre Dame. When you look at what Notre Dame has done, you know, they're, they're like the golden child, hint the golden helmet. The committee, they love Notre Dame and outside that one horrible weekend against Northern Illinois and, and, and what they've done since then, they've been playing some really, really inspired football. And you look at what they have moving forward. They got an intriguing matchup against their rival in USC, but the big one, Army. Right, looking at what Army has done, undefeated. You look at uh, 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 their offense and how they run the football with, with Bryson Daly. I mean, that could be an intriguing matchup. So I really can't wait to see exactly what the shakeup that happened, Brad. To your point, with some of the teams that lost in front of Notre Dame, where would Notre Dame fall Tuesday night? Yeah, I thought BYU was certainly snubbed in the first rankings. Five spots behind unbeaten Miami, despite having a better resume, was just a head scratcher for me. And BYU has a win over SMU. The Mustangs' only loss was to BYU. They can win the ACC here in a couple weeks. They beat Kansas State by 31 points. I will say this: BYU is starting to leak a little bit of oil, so I'm I'm worried about my projected Big 12 Conference champion. We saw last night they benefited from a late defensive holding call to beat a pretty bad Utah team on the road. BYU, BMAC, reminds me a lot of the TCU team from two years ago. Mm. Sort of just has this magic in the in the hopper every week with these close fourth quarter wins. They uh, won against Oklahoma State about a month ago in, in similar fashion with a last second touchdown. So maybe BYU is a team of destiny, but right now the committee has to show the Cougars more respect because they're one of the few remaining power four unbeatens. All right, we'll see who gets snubbed this upcoming Tuesday night when the second college football playoff rankings are released. Okay, I do want to talk about an interesting scenario that could be played out here for the group of five. Brad, is there a scenario in which Boise State could be ranked the highest conference champion and claim that fourth spot and get a first round bye? I think so, especially if the committee uh, downplays Miami's ACC title projected, or maybe BYU beats Colorado in the Big 12 despite losing one of these next few games. BYU still has to go to Arizona State. That's not going to be an easy game for the Cougars. And I think Boise State has done enough resume-wise a win over Washington State. That's the Cougars' only loss. They beat UNLV on the road. They have a quality loss at Oregon by a field goal against the number one team in the country. So I think Boise State's in by winning out. But there is a chance that Boise State could hop into that uh, top four billing with a first round bye if BYU does not pass the eye test moving forward. And the thing I love about Boise State, they're battle tested. Um, we look at having the best running back in football, Ashton Genty, to your point, Oregon could not stop him. They couldn't slow him down. And that's, that's a big point for Boise with their argument outside of their plays. Looking at, look at what we did against the number one team in the country on the road, lost by three. Our running back was the best player on the football field, but we just didn't have enough to win. To your point, that's a great loss. That's, that's a great loss for, for Boise. So looking at what they did last night, uh, rolling once again with Ashton Genty, uh, th this is a team that's well coached as well. So if, if that was to happen, if, the, if there, there lies an opportunity for a team like Boise to get into the top four and have that first round bye, you better believe they, they earned it because what they've, been th what they've done and where they've been through, what they've been through has been outstanding and amazing thus far. And something to note for any Notre Dame fans out there that may be scratching their head at a possible Boise State or even an Army jumping them, a reminder that Notre Dame cannot be seated higher than number five as an independent that is per college football playoff rules. So that is something that is just a little bit crazy. All right, gentlemen, thanks so much for joining me here on CBS Sports HQ. You can get more talk of the college football playoff and week 12 previews on the Cover 3 podcast. The crew already has week 11 instant reactions to all of the upsets and all the chaos that occurred. You can scan that QR code on your screen to watch or listen wherever you get your podcasts.